Yo, so this is the ankle update. Um, the boot's still present. Uh, I don't think it's going anywhere for a while. Still on the crutches. They're hanging around for a little bit too. Um, so swelling has gone down, pain remains. Uh, I've been using Epsom salts now to bathe the foot, try to reduce the swelling. Um, a few other things, Panadol painkillers, uh, um, or Panadol for pain relief. Um, been going to the gym, back today, yesterday was chest. It's been hard to do anything that requires um, core stability because I find when you engage your core, a lot of the time you need to engage your legs and your feet and push hard into the ground and um, that is harder to do with a bung foot as a lot of you guys know. So I uh, had to use a lot more machines than I probably would in workouts, which is okay. Uh, still get the workout done. Um, I've been, I did a little bit of walking without the boot last night, just on the crutches, trying to put a little bit of weight through the ankle. I'm really trying to get it mobile now to make things happen so I can um, start trying to increase movement, activating my quad and my glute more to make sure that when I am able to start using the foot that the muscle atrophy isn't as bad as what it will be if I let these muscles just rot and waste away. So that's where I'm at with that. Um, what else? For workouts, when I'm in injured state, um, you know, I've had, I've torn my bicep off before, I've had all sorts of surgeries, I've had cancer, I've had knee cartilage removed, torn my AC joint off, broken ankle on the other leg. Um, I've had heaps of injuries and stuff. And every time I rehab, what I find works well is um, go back to the gym, low reps, uh, high reps, low weight, as many movements as I can, short rest periods in between sets um, and superset everything so that I can try to increase my heart rate, use it as a bit of a cardio thing as well and make sure I'm real nice and sweaty. Um, and getting through a lot of high reps to get the muscles active and by the lighter weight you don't have to engage whatever the sore bit is as much or uh, engage muscles around it which might cause you some pain so that's how i work out when i do these things um, yeah i'll continue to update you guys on this ankle situation we're at day eight now my plan is to keep these videos coming until I am walking and fully healed. So hopefully, I've only got like maybe seven days of these. Reality is I'm probably gonna be doing this for the next three or four weeks. So stand by for the ankle updates.